Hey and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to uh, use Android checkbox. So what is an Android checkbox? Let me show to you. Let, let's open up the, uh, the emulator and then we'll show you the clock app. So in the clock app, uh, let's go to the alarm section. So let's click on the arrow and then there is the checkbox. So the basically, when you click on the, for example, the repeat, then it will show you like the uh, different uh, type of uh, different days where you want to set the alarm for. So what that's basically what a checkbox does. I mean, like you click, you check, and then you perform an action based on that. So in this tutorial, we'll be building an app that looks basically like this. Alright, so it asks you whether uh, it asks for your gender, are you a male or a female? And then let's say click on male, then shows a toast message saying that male checkbox is checked. If you uncheck the checkbox, then it will show you another toast by saying that the checkbox was unchecked. The same thing applies for the female, it's checked, you click again and it is unchecked. Uh, Alright, so let's open up Android Studio and then we'll create a new project. Okay, let's open up Android Studio. All right, now we'll create a new project. Uh, create, okay. And then we call it a checkbox tutorial. To, to, oops, tutorial. All right, and click next. We'll leave, uh, we'll leave it as everything as it is. Click next, next, and we'll click on finish. We'll wait for it to build up. Okay, project is built. Project is complete. Now let's go to activity underscore main. Uh, we go to the design section and then we remove the default hello world text view. Uh, let's click on that. Remove it and then we'll add uh, first a text view. And then we give it a name label. So let me just close this. And then here Android text. So let's go to the emulator. Uh, Let's open up the app again. So we have choose gender. Okay, let's go to the Android text and then change that to choose uh, gender. Gender, okay. Now let's extract the string resource. So click that, extract, and then we'll click OK. All right, good. Now go back to the design and then we'll add choose a gender and we'll, uh, we'll add another checkbox but let me just uh, increase the text size for this it looks a bit small so Android text size and then we'll give it a size of 20 SP ah, ok looks much better right now next we'll uh, choose a checkbox so this is a checkbox drag one Put it here, exception raised. Uh, let's go to the API 24 and then change that to 23. All right. Then we'll add another one. So first is for female. Uh, first is for male. The second checkbox would be for female. And then we we'll add it beside there. Okay, it looks looks good. Uh, let me just put a space uh, between the. Uh, the checkbox and the label on top. So we'll go here and then we'll add Android margin and then we call it margin top and then we give it 10 dp. And that's the first thing. The second thing is we need to change the text size, uh, sorry, the text for the checkbox. So instead of new checkbox, it would be uh, male. And then we'll change the ID from checkbox to checkbox mail. And then we'll do the same thing for the female. So a new box, new checkbox, it would be changed to female. For the ID, we'll change this to female. And then, uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's basically it. Let's go back to the design section, see how it looks like. All right, okay. Let me just put it on the same line. Okay, looks good should be next to the male and female. Let me just put a, a space between the female checkbox and the male checkbox. So we'll do it like this, Android margin. 
it is left we'll choose left and then we'll say 10 db and then we'll I think we need to add margin start as well because we use margin left so we need to add margin start so Android margin start and then we'll give it 10 db as well go back to the design see how it looks like okay it looks much better right now that so now we have the check boxes okay let's go back to the text uh, the text section and then we need to uh, extract the string resource for each of them the male and female so extract string resource click OK and then for female do the same thing extract click OK so now everything looks good right now let's go back to the main activity and then we declare those checkboxes so we'll do like this checkbox check box we call it male and then check box we call it female okay we don't need to add the we don't, we don't we don't need to declare the the label the label that we just added right here because this is just for a display purpose we're not going to work it directly with it so we don't ha need to declare that but well, we we need to de declare the checkbox for the male and female because whenever the user check any of them we will perform a certain action that's why we need to declare them in the java class now we have this here we'll go to the onCreate method and then we call the find view by id mail uh, mail checkbox then find view by id r.id dot checkbox mail and let me just uh, copy this and then change this from male to female and then we'll do the same thing here checkbox female okay now we're done with the checkbox uh, the second thing is we need to make it uh, we need to uh, perform a certain action based on uh, the click right whenever you uh, click on the checkbox we need to perform a certain action so we do that inside the on click method uh, so we'll do it for the both checkboxes so we'll do it first with the mail so mail mail dot uh, set on click listener new on click listener and then inside the mail inside the sorry inside the on click method we need to do we need to do a uh, check if the mail dot is checked if the mail checkbox is checked which means it has the check mark inside then we need to show a toast message toast dot make text and we provide the current context which is main activity dot this and then we give it a text in, in like the the message that should show up based on this action so it should be uh, mail check check box is checked is uh, checked and then we give it a length of short and then dot show okay so if it's checked if it's checked if mail is checked then we pr we show a toast okay now we need to do another check if it's not checked then we show another toast so if mail is checked we do this otherwise so we do it put it in the else condition else and then we'll just copy paste this toast put it inside and then change the text from instead of mail checkbox is checked should be mail checkbox is unchecked okay now we're done with the mail side now let's do it for the female let me just copy this all right and then change a bit so instead of female instead of male it will be female female and then we'll go to inside the on click method change from male to female if female box is checked then change the label to female checkbox is checked and this one female checkbox is unchecked i think everything looks good all right uh let's give it a run and see how it looks like so we'll open up the emulator I think we have the emulator open already so we'll just run it straight away so click on the run button 
and they will choose the current emulator Nexus 5 and then we click OK and then we wait for it to deploy to the emulator okay it's finally deployed in the emulator so let's give it a test so we we'll click on mail alright the, the toast is showing so we uncheck the box okay we'll do the female as well okay it's good uncheck okay that's fine alright now, now everything looks good right it's working fine but let's say if you have like a certain taste of like for example you want to uh, customize maybe the text size or if you want to change the text style or for example you want to uh, do uh, put some space between them right so we can actually do that now let's go to the activity underscore main and then let me close this to give you guys some space uh, we'll go to the text and then let's say for example we need to change the text size right so uh, let's go to the mail checkbox and they will do it like this android uh, sorry android text size and then we'll give it 20 sp let's go to the design and see how it looks like okay now increased uh, increase a bit looks fine right uh, let's try and uh, give it some style right we need to for example uh, set the text style to bold so what is a style let me show you what is a style so android text style so we have bold italic and normal so let's say we choose bold we'll go back to the design okay see how it looks like it looks bold and then let's say to you want to change it to italic italic right there you have it uh, we'll stick with bold Oh, how about like this? We'll leave this as bold while we change the other one to italic, right? Uh, now we change the text size. Let's say we need to give it a color. Uh, we need to give a, a color to the checkbox label, right? So we'll do like this Android text color. And then we would say, uh, let's choose the current colors that we have Android color. And then we have color accent primary we'll go with the primary for now so we go to the design okay you can see that the color changed right now let's uh, play with the female checkbox and they will do the same thing we change the maybe the text style and then increase the the text size as well so here we have in the checkbox female checkbox we'll do it like this Android uh, text size we'll say 20 sp and then for the style android text style and uh, we'll, we'll leave this as bold right okay let's do it bold oh sorry we chose bold for female let's do it italic for female okay let's go back to the design okay it looks good now let's change the text as well but we don't need to follow exactly like the blue color like what male have right now let's do it as let's give it a color of the uh, pink the accent color android uh, text color and they will choose color and then we'll go with the color accent which is what we have right now is pink uh, pink i hope that's correct though i think it's pink yeah okay let's go to the design all right now we managed to change the text size, the color, and the style as well. Let's give it a run and see how it looks like in the emulator. Okay, so we can see that the text uh, we've changed uh, the color and the text style, the text size. So that's how it looks like in the emulator. Okay, that's it, guys, for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, please uh, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below and I'll get back to you now if you if you want to see more of these awesome tutorials please be sure to subscribe to this channel thanks again for watching and happy coding